Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Ravella Design. Today I'm going to show you how we are going to make these beautiful crochet heart coasters. You can also crochet these as uh, uplicks and you can sew up on your crochet garments or normal garments, doesn't matter. You can also make a hook here and you can use as a crochet heart uh, key ring or crochet heart ornament. It is also nice for Valentine's Day's uh, crochet heart projects. The pattern is very easy. I will explain everything in detail. Okay, dear friends, let's go on how to make this. Meanwhile, please remember to subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info bell. Please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos for my future video tutorials. Thank you so much. Let's go on how to make this. We need a cotton yarn for this project. I'm going to use this uh, cotton yarn. This project is very nice for scrap yarns. If you have scrap yarns, you can easily make this. This cotton yarn is 50% acrylic, 50% cotton. And I'm using three millimeters hook, scissors to cut the yarn, and darning needle to hide the yarn end. Okay, dear friends, we are starting from the center. I'm taking my yarn in my hand. We will start by making magic ring. I am doing magic ring like this, turning the yarn like this I am keeping and I am going to make three chains, one chain, two chains, three. After making three chains I am going to make 21 triple crochet around the ring. In order to make the triple crochet, I am making two times yarn over. I am keeping the yarn end on the ring because I am going to make the triple crochet on these two ropes. I made two times yarn over, inserting my hook in the ring, yarn over, pull through. Now I will make pull through two by two. This is one time pull through. This is second time pull through. This is third time pull through. I am making the second triple crochet. Two times yarn over again, inserting my hook in ring and making another triple crochet. It's been three. four, five, six, First of all, let's count how many we made. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I am not counting the first three chains, except these three chains. I made totally 21 triple crochet. Now we are going to close this uh, big ring. For this, I am keeping this yarn end and pulling. Don't uh, pull too tight because there will be a bit uh, space in the middle. The pattern is like this. After pulling the yarn end and making the center space smaller, 
I am inserting my hook here in the middle, yarn over, pull through, and making a slip stitch. The first row is finished like this. Now I am making six chains. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over. I am inserting my hook here. You know, this is uh, three chains for starting and we made a triple crochet after that. I am inserting my hook between these two and making a double crochet. Making one chain. Two times yarn over. I am going to the following space. Making a triple crochet in there. Like this. I am making one chain. Two times yarn over. Going to the following space. And making a triple crochet. I am making one chain again. Two times yarn over. Inserting my hook in this ring, making a triple crochet. Like this, we are going to make 10 triple crochet. I am not counting the six uh, chains, I am not counting this double crochet, except these two. I am counting the triple crochets. One, two, three. I am making one chain, inserting my hook in the space making a triple crochet it's been one two three four five six seven eight nine and 10 10 triple crochet we made 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 as i told you before i'm not counting the six chains i'm not counting this double crochet after making 10 double crochet i'm making three chains 1 2 3 and i am inserting my hook these two loops in front let me show you closely this is the chains here you see these two loops in the front this is one loop and i am taking also the other loop like this yarn over pull through making a slip stitch i made this for the sharper place of the heart after that i am going on the same I mean the triple crochet I am coming here making a triple crochet one chain going to the other space making another triple crochet like this I am coming to the end yes I came to the end I made 10 triple crochet as well one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yarn over i am going to make a double crochet here in this space here i'm inserting my hook making a double crochet making six chains one two three four five and six inserting my hook in the center here like this making a slip stitch okay this side is finished as well now i am going to make single crochet this uh, six chains you know i'm going there and making six single crochet one two three four five and six i am going to the following space first of all making one single stitch and then three chains and one single stitch in the same space here 
going to the other space and then making three chains and inserting our hook in the same space and making a single stitch. I am going to the following space, first of all making one single crochet and then one, two, three chains, inserting my hook in the same space and making the second single crochet in this space. It is going on like this till this peak dear friends. I finished this side. I am at the place that the peak is available. I am inserting my hook in the peak. Making a single crochet. Making another single crochet. After that I am making three chains. One, two, three. Inserting my hook in the peak again. I am coming here, following space, making one single crochet, three chains, and one single crochet, going to the following space, one single crochet, three chains, one single crochet, and like this, we are coming to the end of this side as well. Now I am at the end. From now on, I'm going to make six single crochet uh, in this six chains. One, two, three, four, five, and six. I made six chain here. Now I will insert my hook here. Like this. It is a bit tight. Yarn over, pull through. Making a slip stitch in the middle. I did it making one chain and I'm going to cut the yarn it's been like this now I'm going to hide the yarn ends with the help of the darning needle I will make pull through the yarn end between the stitches uh, by the help of the darning needle I am doing this in the back side this is the back side this is the front side Yes, once again I am going to do it. Once again, in order to fix well. Okay, now I am turning. I will make pull through from here till here. Now I will make the opposite. From left side to the other. If I do this, I can fix the yarn end better. Now I am going to make a knot. When you start uh, with magic ring, it is uh, important to make a knot when finishing. Otherwise, uh, the circle gets bigger and bigger. And cutting the yarn. I'm hiding the other yarn end in the same way. I'm taking the darning needle in my hand and making pull through like this it is completely finished now I am going to turn it to the back side and I will make a, a steam irony and I will show you how it look uh, in the final yes I made the ironing with the steam of the iron like this this is the back side. 
Okay, dear friends, we came to the end of another project video. Hope you like this project. I really love this crochet heart applique. I will go on sharing this kind of video tutorials. I kindly invite you to subscribe my YouTube channel, activate the info bell. And if you like this video, please leave like remarks and make comments and share my videos. Thank you so much. See you in the coming videos.